Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm shocking you with a dramatic Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, but like this is wearable. Weren't you guys expecting me to do like this blown out thing? Yeah, I'm unexpectable. Is that a word? I'm I'm unaccept un unpredictable. I'm unpredictable. That's the word. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm uploading a ton of videos lately, and I know you guys are loving it, as am I. So make sure you guys don't miss out. Um, and just like it's fun to subscribe. So just subscribe. So I'm gonna go. I hope you guys all enjoy this video, and let's get on to it. There are days where I feel like being extra. Today, I'm going as extra as extra can possibly get. Like, I am so in the mood to pile makeup on my face. I'm first gonna start off by priming my skin. This is the First Day Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm obsessed with this. A lot of you guys tweeted me and told me that you guys got this also and that you guys are also obsessed with it. It is just, like, everything amazing in the world. And it feels like so luxurious. I think it feels better when you have like a lighter touch to your fingers. Is that weird? <laughs> Foundation today, I'm going to use the Too Faced, I was going to say CoverGirl, Too Faced Born This Way. And this is a MAC, I think it's 40. Is this brush number? Oval 6. Wow, was I off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was so off. <sighs> Why did I think it was 40? Am I like, okay. Remember when these brushes were like everything, everyone wanted them? Thank God I did not spend like the $200 on like the legit brushes. Like, I think that was the first time in my life I was smart and like didn't buy something ridiculously expensive. I'm gonna continue being a little extra and I'm just gonna put a little darkness on the outside of my face. So this is the Graftobian palette. I think this is the warm palette. Yeah, warm palette. Ooh, girl. I told you I was being extra today. And want to know the best part? I don't even have makeup remover wipes. So. So I'm first going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes for right underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light. But literally for the Born This, I mean for the It Cosmetics Concealer, that is all you need. Like, I'm not kidding. And I'm going to use a synthetic brush to blend this in. This is by Tarte. You like seriously don't need a lot. This concealer is so full coverage, but so oily underneath the eyes. I kind of hate it in all honesty. Watch how I'm gonna do my eyebrows because I'm like obsessed with it. It's my first time doing it. And then to bake, I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender. I know that in my baking video I say I always use a dry one, but today I'm in the mood for like a damp one. I'm gonna use RC Mano color powder. So while she bakes, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face very lightly with a powder. Now I picked this out thinking it'd be like the right shade, but it's a little dark, but it's gonna be fine because it's not gonna actually show up this dark. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder in the shade Natural Beige. And I'm just gonna sweep this anywhere that the bake is not. For eyes, you guys sent me this picture like a thousand times. I don't know who this is, um, but her makeup is like popping. So I'm gonna do it inspired by this. Um, it might turn out exactly like this. It might turn out differently than this. We will see. I'm trying to use palettes that I know a lot of people have because I want a lot of you guys to be able to recreate this look. Um, so if I'm using palettes that you know aren't interesting or new or anything like that, it's because I'm really trying to use ones that I know a lot of you guys have. So I'm gonna dip into the Morphe 350, who's surprised, I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here, dipping into that shade, and then I'm throwing this in my crease as my transition shade. It's a pretty bold transition shade if you ask me, 
but gets the job done. I don't want this to be too bright of a transition shade, so to diffuse it, I'm gonna take the Naked 3. Everyone I know has this palette, and like this is just is such a Valentine's Day palette. It's just, like every year for Valentine's Day, I pull this palette out, it's so great. I'm gonna take the shade Limit right here, and this is what we're gonna use to diffuse this crease shape. So just kind of right over top of that, blend it up to the brow. This will neutralize the color and make it a little bit more wearable, not just like a vibrant pop right there. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade from ColourPop. It's a gel cream liner in the shade Crybaby. It is so pretty and I don't think I've ever used it, so I'm pretty excited. It's like a lilac. Ooh, it's gorgeous. So with this, I'm gonna pop this all over my lid and bring it up to my crease. You can kind of sculpt out your crease. This isn't a cut crease, but I mean, there's definitely gonna be a separation from lid to crease. So if you wanna, you know, feel the need to cut crease it, go for it. I'm gonna take this shade from this Morphe palette right here. I'm not wetting my brush for this. I am keeping it dry because we're gonna go in with the pigment in a second. So there's, this is really just to set it and give the pigment a little color, like a little base color. I think I should go with this one just because it's a little more pinky. And I'm gonna stick this down with the Too Faced glitter glue. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to do this. Before I move on to the bottom, I'm just quickly going to throw on a little bit of under eye highlight. Um, I'm using the Sigma F35 in the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette and I'm going to take this light pinky shade here. I'm just going to lightly sweep this underneath wherever I put the bake. Um, 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 let's move down to the lower lash line. I'm going to take the first shade that we used on our crease on the lower lash line. Did I even tell you guys what glitter this was? This was OCC in the shade pink. To highlight my eyes, I'm going to dip into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to take the shade Vermeer, the end all be all perfect metallic highlight. This color enough is like reason to buy this palette. If y'all don't have this palette, get on it, like seriously get on it. I'm not trying to have my inner corner be like this huge blown out highlight, just a little light to throw in there. I'm not going to put any eyeliner on this look, nothing on the waterline, nothing up top, nothing. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara and lashes. Uh, these are our Del Wispies, a nice fresh five pack. How, wait, six pack? Five pack, how beautiful. I'm like loving this right now, like woo, girl I feel, lamp like I need to go out right now so this is baby don't go blush by Mac but I'm gonna use it as bronzer you guys know that I love doing this with this blush so this is a Mac 135 and this is just going wherever I look how pretty that like that dimension is just so nice and since it's a blush it's a little softer it's a little pink so it gives you a nice, warm finish to the skin. I think it looks really pretty. For highlight side, this is Charming Pink by Laura Geller. Who's surprised? Not me. I'm like so predictable, it's kind of unreal. For blush, now if you were to do a pink blush, yeah, it would look good, but it would just be so much pink. So you could even do like a bronzy blush, but I'm gonna do more of like a corally blush. I love this. If you guys don't have a blush palette, you guys should get one because they're really fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called True Blush, and it won't compete with anything else on the face. Woo! 
For the lips, honestly, this could completely ruin the look. So we're gonna see. This is Dervish Lip Pencil by MAC. And then these are both by Lipland. The first one, the darker shade is Nova, and then the lighter shade is High Rise. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you guys want a wearable tutorial, I have that right over here. And then obviously, if you guys want to follow along with this but don't have all the products that I use, check out my last video, which is right here. So yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!